Hey guys, how's it going? So have you been following this little dude around since Sunken Treasures, buying up those somewhat expensive legendary maps and diving trying to get the ever elusive special scrap or blue scrap as some people call it. That is the scrap you need for some of the really cool items that Nate can craft, such as the Jet Hurricane Propeller, as well as some of his uh, production building boosts. This little guy right here is kind of annoying. Who loves diving? I mean, honestly, who loves it? Uh, I don't have time to dive. I don't have time to sit around and dive and hunt for treasure maps and hunt for spots on the edge of an island that I can't even find. I don't have time for it, but I still want my special scrap. So I was always kind of stuck trying to deal with this thing. Well, luckily, with Game Update 10, that is the update that came alongside Docklands, a change was made to Passive Trade, and with that change came a new way that we can get Special Scrap now. So let's go take a look at how Passive Trade can help you get Special Scrap. So in game update 10, they updated the amount of coin that a trader would uh, purchase and buy and sell basically at your trading post. Uh, there used to be a cap of 2,000 coins. So that is the most that a passive trader would use in a single transaction. They upped that amount to 100,000. So what that did is that actually allowed old Nate to start selling us special scrap. Now, we've always been able to buy uh, basic scrap and nice scrap. You can see right here, I do have a buy order in for nice scrap. And he is selling, you know, I've, I have gained a little, quite a bit, actually. I have not dived for any of this. This has all been purchased. But before, we could put in a buy order for special scrap, but we would never get any. However, now, with the change in Game Update 10, he does sell special scrap. He only sells one at a time, though, so just be aware of that. He will sell you one piece of special scrap at a time. Now, as you can see right here, he is kind of visiting me roughly every between 20 and 30 minutes, basically. Between 20 and 30 minutes, he's coming by over here at Crown Falls, and he is uh, selling some stuff. Now, Nate does seem to have a cap of 4,000, at least for me at the moment. I do believe that the amount that they will trade with you is based on your population. Your total investor population, I think, is what it is uh, based on. Uh, it's still kind of early. I'm still not entirely sure about that. But at the moment, I have 10,876 investors, and he is selling a maximum of 4,000. However, that is enough to sell me some special scrap. So he is selling one... And then, like, I also have a buy order for several other things. So, when you're setting up your buy order for special scrap from Nate, consider only buying that from him. Maybe that and nice scrap. I'm also buying, like, filaments and steel and several other things uh, just because I'm doing some testing with that, some other stuff. But if I didn't have that, then he would always be selling me some special scrap. So, you're like, okay, well, that's like one every 30 minutes. That's not that great. Well, here's the trick. Go to every other island in Crown Falls that you have a uh, uh, settlement on, and you're going to set a buy order for special scrap from there as well. As you can see right here, he has been coming around about every, again, about every 30 minutes roughly, and selling one. One special scrap does cost 2530 so make sure that your income can handle the, the constant in the constant upkeep cost of buying this stuff from him. I currently have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then Crown Falls makes ten. I have ten islands buying special scrap from him, and what I'm doing is I actually have a trade ship. I have a little schooner right here, and that schooner is going around to all but that island apparently right there. Apparently, I totally forgot an island. He is going around to all of my islands, and he is picking up the special scrap. I'm just going ahead and doing it in both of the slots on it, and then I'm dropping it all off at Crown Falls right there. On a given trip, he is usually carrying anywhere from 4 to 10 when he goes makes his rounds. Again, a schooner is very slow. I do have a 4 and after rigging sail on him. So it's not exactly fast, but I don't need it to be fast. This is a nice background uh, 
a background generation of special scrap for me. I don't have to do anything for it. I don't have to go out and dive for uh, treasures, and I don't have to buy up constantly buy up treasure maps. I mean, does this look familiar to anybody? Having a cargo ship sitting next to Nate, buying up maps, fi clicking them all for the same region, and having your your uh, salvager in that region and then going and diving and then buying more and then diving and go by. I, I don't have time for doing that. It's fun on occasion, but I just don't have the time for it anymore. So now I don't have to do it at all. I have a nice passive generation of special scrap from 10 islands. Of course, and I, the AI does have a few islands, so I'm missing out on a handful that I could be getting. But it is so, so nice. If we go and take a look right here at my storage, and then we uh, take a look at the special scrap, we can look at my storage over time on it, or my stock over time. You can see that it goes up by, let's see, three, that's like seven, ten. Like, that's 30 minutes right there. So in 30 minutes, it went from 113 to 121. So yeah, it's it's going up rather nicely. It's it's a nice constant uptick of special scrap coming in. It's a really cool change. It's a really cool little side effect of them increasing that amount right there. So that is all my little tip right here is is if you want special scrap and you don't want to do diving maps, go to Crown Falls, go to Cape Trelawney, set up buy orders for special scrap and purchase it from Nate. Uh, he only has like a couple of trade ships. I think he only might only might have like one or two uh, ships that go around and do trading in the region. So if you don't have any islands at all other than Crown Falls in Cape Trelawney, he will actually come back and forth to, to Crown Falls like every like five minutes. And so every five minutes you're generating one. It. I've talked to a few people. We've done some tests. The numbers seem to average out. You average between 20 and 30 per hour on average. You average between 20 and 30 per hour total, whether you have just Crown Falls or you have multiple islands. It's within that range. Your mileage may vary a little bit depending on, you know, how often Nate is coming around to you and, you know, different things like that. But you can expect somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 special scrap per hour. So I hope this helped you. If you hate diving, if you hate trying to find those little B spots on the map and everything, don't do it anymore. Just set up your buy order, get you some special scrap coming in, and you can craft those items. And when you're done and you don't need any more, just turn off the special scrap buy order and you don't have to think about it. So you can go on about your building your cities, expanding your regions, continuing on with stuff that's a little more interesting than sitting there diving all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out a little bit. If it did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Check out my channel for more tips and guides and things like that that might help you, as well as playlists for lots of playthroughs on different difficulty levels and different styles of playing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.